Joining us now, Kellyanne Conway, former senior counselor to President Trump, author of Here's the Deal. Kellyanne, um, they're obviously trotting out this talking point. We called it out, I think, on Monday. They're going to they're going to say it's all Putin's fault all the way into the midterms. Are Americans ultimately going to buy this when we start seeing those fuel bills come in and the air conditioning costs for the summer? No, Laura. In fact, Americans know that everything they basically said is not true. They've all been lies. The border surge was not seasonal. It's the record. It's, they've created records there. Inflation was not transitory. It's here to stay. The CPI today, as you put, pointed out, 7.9 percent. The Biden administration continues to break all these records in all the wrong ways. And it's not just partisans saying this. It's all the polls saying this, particularly independents who have really migrated away from Joe Biden and Kamala Harris's lack of accomplishments. There's very little confidence in their competence. And every poll out there shows major disapproval, majority disapproval, on their handling of all these diverse issues, from immigration to inflation to the crisis in Ukraine to, obviously, what we're paying at the in the grocery store, the gas pump, the supply chain crisis. And Joe Biden, he has this way, Jen Psaki, of playing the blame and game, name and shame nonsense of Washington. But it would rely on the American people believing it. And they've lost credibility, not just in their message and their messengers. You know, Laura, I like to say the Democrats don't have, this administration doesn't have a messaging problem. They have a fact problem. And it is reflected in the polls. They don't seem to do anything well. Um, finally, blaming Putin for the gas prices completely forgets that gas was about $2 a gallon on Election Day 2020. No, it's, it's more just... than doubled now. And it had gone up 40 percent before Russia invaded Ukraine. Hakeem Jeffries at the no, Democratic uh, retreat is none telling everybody, works. oh, it's Putin's fault. It's not. And none of it no. works. People are wanna... smarter than that. And people are fearful. Yeah. They're fearful. Oh, I, think, I think people are, are if they're just now beginning to really see the increased cost of living across the board on everything they buy, yes. and the summer season is going to be expensive. But the media, Kellyanne, not surprising to you, but the media, especially CNN, are circling the wagons and trying to say that this is really a, a narrative that needs to be explained. So we have to explain the reasons for sacrifice to the American people. Watch. Many politicians act as though it's President Biden who caused inflation <laughs> and that he can fix this. Can he do something about it? Well, he can do things at the margins, but no, I mean, you know, he did not cause the war which caused prices to surge. Now, inflation was already rising for sure. We had supply chain issues. Some of that was actually because of good news, meaning a really strong recovery. Kellyanne, inflation was good news? What? It's never good news. And in fact, people know presidents can do that. We recently had a president who did keep all of those cost of living measures down. We know that the Ch Tax Cut and Jobs Act at the end of 2017, unleashed so much so much prosperity, repatriated all that money back that was overseas. And you know, Laura, this country is suffering. There's a lot of uncertainty, chaos, insecurity because of these policies. You cannot kill 42,000 energy jobs on day one of your administration, and out the door with that goes 800,000 barrels per day in, in domestic oil production, and convince people that it's not your fault. You can't have supply chain crisis when people see the containers stuck on our own waterways. You can't have a president who looks the other way when people and drugs are coming over our southern border, who just this past Tuesday, Laura, two days ago, said his budget next year will include $2.6 billion for gender equality. He's saying that in the middle of sending Kamala Harris to Poland. So people Kel are smart. They're smart to this. And this is a guy who gave $85 billion of our intelligence and our equipment, left it in China's wingspan after his chaotic and deadly withdrawal from Afghanistan. No. People know it. I think the moms, the moms are going to rise up in November. The moms pay the bills, the family bills, and I think the, the, the wrath of mothers on a whole bunch of issues is going to be felt. Kellyanne, great to see you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.